welcome to this episode. So we just finished uh, looting in there. We figured out how to build a still suit, which will be handy. Uh, but then we need to go check out the glowing mushrooms down there. Didn't realize how close it was, but it is right by that place. So we made it to this point and dropped this beacon before. At the time, we didn't have a submarine, so we couldn't really do this because we have to go up for air all the time. But now, we can basically bring air with us and check this place out. Now we saw some worm dudes, and I'm guessing they're friendly? chasing us too. How far is he going to chase us? Wow, that's, um, we're at 30% health. Um, wow. That guy is not joking around. Now, if this had been destroyed, I suppose we would have been able to swim to the surface then. So we would lose this thing, lose whatever we have in storage, uh, but we would probably be okay. Alright. Alright, we're paired up. So, uh, let's go down and avoid those guys. things down here. Okay. Avoid those guys. Will do. I do not like how much he chased me. If they stayed... Whoa. Thermal. Cool. So, or hot, not cool. So we could actually put a base down here if we wanted to, and use that for power. Awesome. Oh, maybe we should make a base down here, so shrooms. I'm going to move that beacon. Oh no, actually it's pretty good where it is. That's pretty good where it is. Oh, no, I'm gonna move it. Let's put it down here so it's a little easier to navigate on our way out. here, and then go up. It's also we can navigate to it from above and come down here. Alright, so this is only 215 meters deep, so we can actually, I'm gonna go this way because there's no worm looking guys. There are piranha fish out there, but luckily they don't seem to mess with our submarine at all. Yeah, they just kind of thud off like that. So there's no worms out here. So this would be a good opportunity to scan this thing. See what its purpose is. Some dudes. I'm 
jelly shroom. Inventory full, it said. So, what is a jelly shroom? Jelly shroom. No person identified. Tough. Looks like we can't eat it. I was hoping I could eat it, so I'm getting hungry. Vulnerability to predation, but evidence is lacking. Unknown defensive. Yeah, they've got these worm things to protect them. Symbiotic relationship. There we go. Jelly shroom spore. And we're full up. So, let's drop that. Drop some titanium. Uh, get our little storage unit here. Drop that in there. All right, that's full. We can drop titanium if we need to. Welcome aboard, Captain. How we doing on food? We're gonna eat. Yeah, we're gonna eat that. We're gonna eat some of that. This thing gives us 75, so we can get pretty hungry, and that thing will fill us up. A nutriment cube. And we could go back if we wanted to. To there. Let's we'll keep following the right-hand wall of this cave. sound and figure there's probably one behind me. Yeah, they live in the mushrooms. What is this? What is this? Is this where Bart, Paul, and Marguerite ended up. It kind of looks that way, doesn't it? Well, let's check it out. Power cell charger. We need one of those. And now we can make one. Cool. Okay, this thing's been here a while. been here a while. I don't think anybody's living in it. But yeah, their story was that they were on the island. Water filtration machine. Sounds useful. Maybe it t pulls in salt water and gives us drinkable water? So their story is they were up on that island and then they came down and they said they went too deep and found something dangerous. Nuclear reactor. Another piece of that is pretty good. Two out of three. PDA. So we get to find out Integrate if this was indeed. Oh, there's our nuclear reactor. Nice. So we could, like, just live down here like they did. If we get enough, I'm guessing that uranite crystals for the nuclear reactor. Oh, another PDA in there. And a data box. checked out the outside. Two levels 
walls to it. So we just need to check out the inside now. And another PDA. Where's our... Uh, where's our... Oh, there it is. Man. <laughs> Lost our oxygen for a minute. 30 seconds. You get, I panic so much here. Alright, we're not hungry enough for that yet. Not thirsty enough yet. Okay. Is that a way in? No, it's got glass on it. So this... Oh, he went right to the opening, didn't he? He went right to the opening. Forget that guy, jeez. Alright, so I'm gonna leave this parked over here. If he goes in... Yeah, if he goes in, we're stuck, so... No sense worrying him. Oh god! Alright, 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 forget that. Uh, these things. What was their deal? It hurt me a tiny bit and I healed up. But didn't I think they like what was their deal? Flora. What were they called? They were called Jelly Nope, that's really good at there. I don't remember what they're called. Anyway, be careful. I think that's the answer. We got that PA. Okay. We're going to take it slow. Watch out for those things. One PDA. Another one upstairs. Oh, this is that water filtration thing we scanned. Another PDA. Yep, Paul Torgal's log. Let's let's be conservative here. Get some more. Air. So freaking piranha. Let's read the log. Okay, collapse this. Uh, technical. That's our water filtration system. Altera water filtration system. Any liquid into pure refreshing pH balanced water. Yes, sir. Any liquid. Sweet. So that will, when we install that, give us water to drink. Alright. Decrease. Voice log 4. Son, there's always a pecking order. In our world, money makes the hierarchy. I pay Maida a fraction of what I pay you, and you a fraction of what I pay me. I'm still at the top of the pack. If money makes the hierarchy, why is Marguerite making the decisions? Because <laughs> she knows what to do. We need her. Let her think what she likes as long as she does what she's told. What if she doesn't? Enough money? She will. People always do. And then Bart's log. I thought it might get claustrophobic living underwater. Father feels it. Yeah, so they came down here, all three of them. But I stare out the window sometimes and think how luckily I am to see under the underwater up close. Margaret's been telling stories about the wildest creatures you could imagine. The fish down here, they glow. There's one that's 90% eyeball. Snakes twice the length of the habitat compartment. I'm sure it's not all friendly. 99% toxic. We've learned that the hard way. But we're growing marble melons. And what they don't cover, well, we eat with local fish. It's a bit gross, but it's nothing they wouldn't do. I've been documenting my findings, and Father approved. He said we need to understand this world before we, if we're going to take advantage and survive. So he is a scientist. Good. Let's see the world in a way a spectroscopic analysis never could. Lately, I've been watching the, cor the crab snakes that live down here. They ambush prey as it tries to feed on the mushrooms they hide in. But they don't consume cells in the seabed, which feeds the mushrooms. Blows my mind. Then Paul's log. Dilemma. You know what Maida told me? She wants to build a habitat 500 meters below sea level, more than a kilometer east of here. 
She needs Bart and I to do it. So a kilometer east and deep. She's got in her head if she just acts recklessly enough, it'll save us. Plasteel of the Federation. Oh, this is Paul. Uh, this is not Bart, this is Paul. But I can't tell her the stupidest idea that I ever heard of. Or my only hope. It could be my only hope. I turned 80 last week. I thought I had another 80 in me, but ruining this planet, there's no swapping out my liver when this one fails. Here, I'm mortal. So, we gotta make a decision. Return to the island, which is where those habitats were, or take us deeper. I'll give her one thing. She was right about these caves. There's enough lithium here to fabricate 100 tons of plasteel, enough for a fleet of cyclops submarines. If we get back, we'll be rich. So, I'm guessing I need to follow this then. They went... that guy. Those things are nasty. Crab snakes. <sighs> anyway, um, so they went um, a kilometer east of here. So I need to mark where here is. East of here. We'll call it that. We'll call it that. Nice. And I think we Welcome are. Aboard, Captain. Yes, we are hungry enough for our nutriment block. And we're thirsty enough for our waters. That's our. Yeah. Our last for our food, last for our water. Uh, let's grab that last PDA and bug out of here. Uh, let's repair this, because if, if this thing blows up, we are... Yeah, if this blows up, we're dead. We cannot swim away from here and survive. Yeah, if this blows up down here, uh, we're dead. Energy's at 45, too. Good thing we got that cell charger figured out. Careful. So we checked out this room. We're going to this room. Um, anything here? Ladder up. We'll skip going up for now. Oh, man. Ooh. Good thing that's temporary damage. Ninety-three oxygen. Go through there, come on. Alright, get the data box. Let's grab the PDA, I think. There's one more PDA over there. Jellyfish suck. So it gets me air. All the way through. There's a snake right there, but we can. 30 seconds. Nice. Like a pro. Uh, let's get to the upper level with those ladders. And this place is fully explored. This is exciting, so we know where to go next. Oh, man. If I hit two of those, I'm dead. Alright, go fast, but go careful. Up, up, up. So, this is... 
PDA. 100 oxygen left. Let's check the other end. Alright, we have explored the whole thing. Alright, which way was out? Um, this way? Yeah, this way. Nice. I'm a little worried now, since I realized if the sub explodes, we're dead. We cannot swim to the surface from here. Alright, um, but that'll be it for here. So we have, um, there's still a lot more to explore here, but we found this place which is awesome. Um, we got a still suit to build, we've got a nuclear reactor to build, we have a lot of stuff to do now. So, exciting stuff. Thanks for watching, uh, we'll end this chapter here. See you next time, bye.